Hello everyone. In this chapter, we are going to discuss about alerting through Prometheus and little bit about how to configure it through Grafana as well. Little bit recap of what we discussed last time. In the last sessions, we installed Grafana. We also created data source through Prometheus on Grafana. We also created dashboard on Grafana through data source as Prometheus uh, with respect to the metrics from node exporters. So if you want to configure uh, alerts in through Prometheus, then first thing will require probably is uh, alert manager. So let's go to Prometheus download page. Let's copy the link. Let's go to our Linux box. Let's do wget. So we have got alert manager. This is let's do tar minus set VF. Yeah, let's go inside. Will not change any configurations as of now. This is kind of a basic uh, thing that we are going to do, but just have a look at uh, what is there inside alert manager. So if I give you overview about alert manager of Prometheus alert will be generated by prometheus but it will come down to alert manager and the configuration of where this alerts need alert needs to be sent to this will be managed by alert manager yeah so all the thresholds and everything will be config uh, needs to be configured through rules.yml on the prometheus and whatever alert based on threshold if generated will be dispatched to alert manager and there it will be decided where exactly it needs to be sent to it can be sent to your email or any other sources like slack or mailer or uh, uh, hangout or any other uh, configurations available through alert manager and you can also manage it through alert manager user interface as well and uh, you can also make it silent so as part of the management uh, process or devops process in case if you know that in new sum of the alert, uh, if you don't need to act or you have already acted upon, you can make it silence as well. So yeah, uh, let's start the process. And this is how uh, it looks. Uh, default configuration, I will not uh, go more detail into the configuration. What we'll do is we'll start the process. Uh, the default port for alert manager is uh, 9093. Uh, let's go to 9093 port. This is the one. Okay, so as of now, uh, there are no uh, alerts. Uh, status is ready and there are no alerts. So what we'll do now is uh, we'll go to our uh, Prometheus. Uh, we will configure a rule uh, from Prometheus configuration. I have created this first rule.yaml file. Uh, this is containing a basic rule called instance down. Uh, the expression is the query from QL language only. As of now, we are going to keep it very simple. Uh, the expression says if up metric is equal to equal to zero and four is one minute. So for one minute, if the status of this particular metric up is zero which is, which means down then it will is it's going to raise this particular alert called instance down and the name that we have given is example so let's update the yaml file yeah so this is where you can configure alert manager so yeah localhost uh, 9093 and uh, yeah okay uh, we are going to configure rules as well here um, so as of now you can give multiple rule files as of now we are going to keep it very simple through first rules dot yaml uh, let's restart let's in this particular process and let's restart in a simple way can configure service as well for your Prometheus process. If you know Linux, uh, it can be configured in a very easy way. Uh, 
let's check the logs once yeah so there are no errors or anything and let's check out the status of our prometheus first okay okay so it is showing uh, the instance down alert there are zero active as of now let's look at the targets uh, okay so target is up and running now what we'll do is uh, we'll see what's the value of our up matrix as of now okay so value of the up matrix is one as of now so it is not going to raise any alerts uh, because we have configured it with up equal to equal to zero right so to do that what we'll do is uh, we'll make our node exporter down so let's do that let's kill the process for node exporter and let's check again once okay so it is down already let's go to our targets okay so you can see your node is down right and it is not going to send any kind of alerts it means that uh, it's going to have this value zero now uh, let's go to graph now if you check metric yeah you can see localhost 9100 job node is zero yes so this particular alert will wait for a minute right so when yeah okay so we've already got this uh, instance down one active uh, what it will do is uh, once one minute is over right so if it whenever it will cross the threshold it will be into firing position right and when it will fire, it will go to alert manager. So as of now, as you can see, you don't see anything into alert manager. Okay, okay, so I've got it as well. Uh, so, okay, one active, you can see here, the status has changed to firing. It means that the Prometheus has done its job and fired the alert to alert manager. It has reached the alert manager and now whatever needs to be done, will happen through alert manager only either you can configure it to be sent to mail you can view all the alerts here as well you uh, the source will take you down again to your prometheus you can make it silence as well if you know what it is and if you've already worked upon it and uh, yeah that's it from uh, the configuration perspective and that's quite easy you only need to know promql if you know promql well you can keep all your thresholds properly and, and manage all your rules properly and alerts properly accordingly so that you don't miss any kind of uh, required alerts. Similar to this, uh, these alerting provided by Grafana as well. If you ask me personally, I like uh, configuring rules on Prometheus instead of doing it on Grafana. So on Grafana, uh, if you need to do that, let's um, create it one sample uh, uh, alert here uh, just to show you right so this is the red line that you can see is the alert uh, the threshold that you have configured um, you can see all your alerts uh, in this one alert rules here right uh, you can configure the notification channel as well if you go to new notification channel uh, you can see the types of channels that you can configure there are plenty of options uh, you can give it to slack you can give it to email you can give it to your pager duty and, and plenty of options yeah um, so this is nice as well uh, in a way right but do not make it complicated we'll only uh, look at the email option for now you can give a name as well and you can provide all the email address that it needs to send to and uh, the alert as well that it has got it will show you here you can uh, do kind of a, a search as well on top of alerts if you go to dashboard now we'll show you uh, how it needs to be configured as well so uh, yeah let's go to edit this is where it will show you the alert options and uh, yeah the conditions uh, so when average of query uh, whatever query that you have configured as part of this particular graph is greater than or above whatever value that you need to give right and uh, similar to Prometheus it will also give you a value at every one minute for how many time it needs to be there and everything 
and you can also configure when there is no data for a specific query or uh, uh, execution error comes right then also if you need mail or anything uh, alert or anything that you can configure and here in the notification section you need to configure uh, when it, which channel exactly it needs to go to so our name of the notification channel that we have given is mail so it will go to mail notification channel whenever it will exceed the threshold that is given i hope you've enjoyed uh, the the lesson right so alerting is quite uh, a beautiful thing right whenever something happens right it will tell you up front yet right? you don't need to worry about it and uh, most of the issues can be captured uh, through this alerting very early and you can act upon very easily as soon as you get something uh, through alerts so happy alerting